I just want to show you guys a solution to a problem that I hope none of us ever really have. And it's around our mini PCs that some of you, myself included, have been installing and mounting directly to our telescope rigs so we can sit inside the warmth of our homes, especially in these winter months, to take control of our computers remotely and run our imaging sessions. I'm kind of a worst case scenario type of guy. So whenever I do something, especially when I'm automating it, I try to think ahead and what possibly could go wrong with that and what I would have to do or what I would have, to, what hoops I would have to jump through to resolve whatever issue I'm having. So the problem with the mini PCs is the possibility of not actually being able to connect into them. If I sit down at my processing machine here in the office and try to remote into my mini PC on my telescope rig and it's not answering, whether it's Microsoft RDP or the Google Chrome remote desktop or any other software that you might be using for that remote access, if you can't get connected, you have no way of being able to figure out what's going on. So in my mind, I have three options if that was to happen. One, just pack it up and call it a night and waste a clear night that maybe you've been waiting for three weeks like I have been to come around. Uh, two, disconnect everything from the mini PC, take the mini PC off of the scope, back into the house, and connect a monitor and a keyboard and a mouse up to it so I can see what's going on, which at that point I've just powered it off and brought it back up there's a chance that it'll, it may be fine. Uh, the third option would be to take that monitor keyboard mouse out to my rig, hook it up to the PC so I can actually see what's going on. None of those options appeal to me. I didn't want to have to do anything like that at all. So I came up with a solution. Might be overkill, but it, it, it'll save me in a pinch if ever I have issues. I can use it out in the yard. I can use it if i out in the field at a star party or a buddy's house. The way I have my rig set up right now, I have I have three different ways that I can actually get into that mini PC. Um, one is just over the Wi-Fi, and I have a wireless access point that's separate from my Wi-Fi on the rig that I can connect into. Then I can go in through Ethernet as well if I want to. Uh, I was sitting here in the office when it happened, luckily, so it wasn't when I was out shooting, but I tried to remote into the mini PC, and Microsoft RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol, just was failing. It just couldn't connect. So I jumped into Chrome's Remote Desktop to give that a shot, it wasn't even showing the PC as being online. And it was in fact turned on, and as far as I could tell, was powered up. Long story short, the solution I came up with, that particular scenario happened again, and it was something that I had messed up in the settings where the PC did not connect to the Wi-Fi because it couldn't see it, and it ended up falling back to its second connection, which was my wireless access point. So now the mini PC is connected to the wireless access point. I'm, connect I'm sitting here connected to my Wi-Fi, total different network, that was my issue. But I was able to figure that out because I built a crash box. So let me show you how it works. This is my mini PC. It's the, uh, the Melee Quieter 3. Just have it mounted as you can see next to the power box on top of the, the Edge HD. Down here in the bottom is the little wireless access point that I was talking about before that is my fallback connection. So that's the mini PC set up on the scope. Well, let's flip around and take a look at the crash box. So this is what I take with me everywhere I go, even if it's just in the backyard just to have it cheap case that I picked up from Harbor Freight. When you open it up, there's our monitor. I have a keyboard with a touchpad for the mouse on it. And then underneath the foam here are other accessories that I may need. This is the cable, HDMI and USB that connects to the mini PC back to the box. And let me show you guys how easy this is to hook up. So right in the side here, it's not pretty. I have a USB and HDMI port. So I start with just plugging my cables into that. And then the other end goes to the PC. And there we go. On the bottom I have some hook and loops stuck to the, the keyboard. And the other end of that hook and loop goes on these little tabs here that are on the box. So when I open this up, It'll sit right on those tabs, hold it securely in place for me. And then at this point, I can just get logged in. So being as compact as, as it is, the keyboard sitting relatively good with the Velcro underneath of it, I can stand next to the scope and begin my troubleshooting. I can see exactly what's going on with it. Um, so I, unfortunately, and obviously I've already built this thing and um, I didn't have the forethought to actually make a video about it. It was before I actually started the channel. 
but let's uh i'll sit down with you and show you how easy it is to put it together and i'll leave a list of all the parts in the video description below all right to start let's just get this keyboard out of the way here and i'll disconnect that um, we've got enough storage in here for a couple extra cables i have my ethernet cable uh, an adapter both the usb drive and ethernet for my tablet which does not have an ethernet on there my recovery disc in case anything really goes bad some spare fuses for the mount manual for the, the keyboard we'll start with the monitor here you can see it's just simply hdmi and usb out this foam around here and it's, it's a little beat from the cords wrapping on it this foam around here was actually what the monitor came in in the box so i just cut the sides off and glued it in there again with my velcro behind the monitor just to hold it up in the lid if you come down inside here let me take the foam out of the bottom You can see back here, I have a USB hub. It's just tucked in the corner there. One connection goes up to the monitor. And then the second cable that comes off of that is what I just disconnected the keyboard from. And then here's our wire that feeds into the hub that goes through the pass-through port on the side of the box that runs through the cable that I plugged in earlier into the PC itself. Uh, last is the HDMI, obviously, that comes from the monitor as well comes down to its own pass through in the bottom here, which again comes out through the side of the box and goes into the PC. And, and that's it, nice and compact, not too hard of a build. So the one thing I wanted to mention is about the keyboard. This is a great little keyboard, right? Because it folds up and it fits in the box. They have smaller ones. I went with this one for two reasons. First of all, it's a little bit larger, so it would be easier to type on, especially at night. And second, it's Bluetooth but it's also USB. The use case for that wanting just a USB keyboard is if this thing was hung up post boot, like Windows was not loading or I needed to get into the BIOS. A Bluetooth keyboard isn't gonna help me in that situation. You need Windows running and loaded and that Bluetooth driver loaded to be able to talk to this. Having a USB connection allows me to hit delete and get in the BIOS and make any changes that I wanted to make if that's the case. So I think I got everything covered with this little guy. Like I said, I'll leave all the parts that I have for this build in the video's description below. Let me know what you guys think. Is it over the top? Am I worrying about something that I shouldn't have to worry about? Uh, you gonna build one yourself now? Some different ideas maybe, some improvements to it. Maybe we'll make a version two one of these days if I get enough feedback. So I don't know, hope you guys think it was cool. If you're not a subscriber, hope you consider subscribing. Give the video a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Share it out to your other Astro buddies and get their opinion on it as well. Thanks for everybody's time and I'll see you in the next video. Clear skies.